Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps, SRE, DevSecOps coach. I have uh, close to 18 plus years of experience working uh, in uh, multiple MNSEs around the globe and uh, having in-depth knowledge of DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, so I would like to introduce you uh, one certification program in a DevOps and that is we, we call it DevOps Certified Professional. Uh, now this is a two months of program, 25 tools uh, of DevOps you will learn. And uh, apart from that, you will also get the access to the LMS, lifetime access to the videos portal. It's a certification program and uh, you will have 25 assignments and two projects along with it. It's a completely weekend program. So here you have uh, classes on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so as part of this course, you will learn multiple things. Here you see that uh, you will learn Linux, AWS, Docker, Jira, Confluence, Python, Git with GitHub, SonarQ, Maven, Gradle, Packer, Artifactory, Selenium, Jmeter, Ansible, Kubernetes, Helm, Terraform, Jenkins, Datadog, Splunk, and Neuralink. Uh, now, how do we, uh, you know, apply for this? So, how can you reach out to us? So you have a WhatsApp number and email ID. So please uh, reach out to us and we'll help you to onboard this program. Uh, apart from this uh, DevOps certified professional programs, we are offering other certifications as well in a DevSecOps, SRE and uh, one of the very, very comprehensive programs which we have is in, ma is in Master in DevOps Engineering. Yeah, so feel free to get in touch with us and then uh, enroll for it. Thank you. Two versions of software are deployed to two different group of users, okay? Here, one small percentage of user with are first exposed to the new version and the rest of the people are still on the old version. Okay. okay. So little difference actually, but in terms of uh, if you see that uh, behavior, just a second. If you see that in terms of blue green, uh, you are expect uh, sorry Kennedy. You are expecting uh, uh, zero downtime. Same time alpha beta testing also. Uh, you are expecting zero downtime. Downtime in terms of real traffic testing also is good. Targeted user here you have a you are targeting alpha beta testing for everyone. Here Kennedy. Here you are targeting for the only five percent or ten percent of the people at a time. Okay. And uh, in the alpha beta testing, what you what you do? Uh, basically, it's controlled by user, not by the company, not by the product. For example, let's say if I log into you, Yahoo, uh, they have a, both the releases. I will select and which I want to go, I will decide, not the Yahoo will decide. Okay. And here, in terms of cloud cost, uh, here blue green, you have a high cost, alpha beta, you have a little loss cost. And this alpha beta testing, which has been done through, through, uh, deployment of Kubernetes actually that is possible Otherwise, not possible in other is become a costly again rollout durations you see that little bit of uh, uh, blue green uh, so Kennedy you have a little bit of same and uh, alpha beast also same and um, complexity of setup uh, little bit alpha beta testing little bit more Kennedy you have a compared to alpha beta little less yes okay so guys now we have cloud base. So introduction of cloud base. So basically. Cloud base is a name of one company. OK. So cloud base is an enterprise software delivery company. Such a uh, livery and uh, it was uh, founded by such a livery and Francisco is a uh, Dechery. I'm not able to pronounce well co-founded co by the company in the early 2010. So CloudBees is headquartered in San Jose, California, and uh, they are into the many products such as platform as a service offering, which lets developer use Jenkins in the cloud along with an compromised version of Jenkins with uh, additional functions for the enterprise company. So in 2020 cloud which introduced software delivery automation platform the one which we are talking about the um, CDRO and stuff like that. So these are the their products they have uh, they have a uh, capabilities such as analytics platform uh, compliance analytics which is a single source of truth for 
real time visibility about your all of your product line which you have deployed across the different environment and customer base compliance uh, which is a continuous compliance from the commit through the production uh, you can have a visibility for it uh, cd part uh, eliminate scripts and automate deployment pipelines that means uh, everything you codify uh, using uh, you know the their products ci products they have they have a product which will help you to manage your features as well release orchestrations and value stream management so these are the products capabilities they have it on their product line so one of the product which they have is cloud ci cd okay uh, which will help you to implement the you know implementing the ci and cd capabilities now second feature we have is feature management itself we call it so delivering features progressively so they have a product which can manage all of your features environments and also so much release orchestrations uh, including the c across pipeline release tools and teams uh, analytics get the answer of in any context what you have you can measure analyze and communicate how software deliveries impact business performance get answer about the software del delivery analytics and compliance so these are the five capabilities they have it in terms of product line if you see they have one product which is called which they call it software delivery automation as part of it they have a ci product cd ro product and the one preview products which we have so in this session we are going to focus on the CDRO. Uh, that's a middle one. You can see that. Uh, in other areas, they have a platform also. Platform means like a website. So cloudbees.io, where they are offering the CI CD on the cloud. Okay. Cloudbees feature management also they have on cloud. Cloudbees release orchestration, SaaS software as a service also they are offering, and value stream management. So many, many offerings they are doing it. Our sessions. Will be more around the CD and RO. Other products, I think some few must be having experience with the Jenkins platform and all. And Codeship, which it was one of the LDS projects and stuff like that. So now uh, the focus for our session is on one of the product, which is CD RO. Introduction of CloudBees CD RO. So yeah, CloudBees CD CRO uh, RO is an enterprise grade DevOps. A release automation platform means basically delivery deployment and stuff like that that simplifies the provisioning that's a one building second releasing of multi-tiered application multi-tiered applications and microservices so can you please help me to understand what is a multi-tiered applications called Model view controller applications. Uh, some more inputs. So multi tier is like uh, we also sometimes call it SOA. Anyone have heard about it? Just participate in the discussion, guys, all of you. So you have heard about the service based architecture, right? So there is one architecture which is called uh, monolithic. Second one service architecture, service based architecture. Third one is microservices. Multi tiered architecture is basically is nothing but service based architecture. That means web server, app server, DB server or something like that. So yes, if you want to release in this architecture, this tool will help you. If you want to release in the microservices, Maybe Kubernetes also this will help you. So it's a model driven approach to managing environment. OK, model driven. So that means for each and everything you have to create a model which will help you. So in model driven approach to managing environments, application and microservices allow team to coordinate multiple pipeline release across hybrid infrastructure. That means uh, the infrastructure you may have in the cloud or private cloud or public cloud or container or VMs. It's up to you. Uh, a different uh, hybrid environment it can be possible in an inefficient predictable and auditable way so cloud uh, uh, cloud cd and ro 
it was a formerly known as electric cloud okay electric cloud so the uh, the product name if you see still they are using the product name is electric flow sorry electric cloud electric flow so electric flow they were using in the hosted environment and cloud in the software as a service and something so it's a uh, formally known as a electric cloud electric flow is a dev, dev, devops automation platform developed by cloudways it is designed to help organizations streamlining automating da 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 all this stuff so what are the some of the benefits of uh, cloudways cdro so one of the some of the benefits which includes the provide the ability to share automation application and pipeline definition across group to improve consistency and drive drive efficiency also which can help you to display the path to production for any artifacts include role based access control automatic or manual approval and built in built in tracking for every pipeline changes and run also provides a unified data and object model for for release orchestration environment and pipeline management the deployment automation to give an complete view into the entire process of taking application from the concept to the production with a complete audit auditability and traceability another uh, advantage which we have is like allow automated workflows application and uh, microservices deployment or pipelines provide the ability to model and deploy one application or microservices for more than one huge cases and one more support the deployment for all some or a specific version of artifact in an applications next one provide change tracking for tracked object including application or microservices artifacts job and resources and workflows and allow resource optimization in dynamic environment so these are the some of the benefits of the cloud cd c cdro okay so some of the huge cases which you can uh, understand this way build and test automations if you want to use it yes definitely you can use it so here uh, executing automated build and test process okay just a second uh, okay so uh, executing automated build and uh, just can give me some okay okay so executing automated build and test process resulting in a reduced cost increased quality reliability and traceability and accelerated time to market second huge cases which you can use for the deployment automations simple if you want to deploy your application in a different environment different different patching and major and minor releases you can do that so executing automated applications or microservice microservice deployment process resulting in reduced cost increased quality reliability and traceability uh, next one you can Sir, use for the pipeline just, creation please, also please. yeah Raj, uh, about the first use case so build and test uh, use case so is is cdr or does the same as when ce ci also uh, so here what you can do uh, you can integrate with the ci okay so uh, let's say uh, you in a here when you go and create application there we have a multiple stages one stage you can call it a ci and then if ci passes then cd multiple phases you can put it up so ci uh, you can integrate it integrated means you can call the jenkins job through the integration or maybe some uh, some other ci is also like a bamboo team city and all through api and plugins concept so you can integrate it and put it at one place only Okay, but the job will be executed at the CI level, not on yeah. CDR. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next. Okay. So pipelines. Uh, nowadays, uh, everyone is talking about the pipelines. Uh, so coding for the CI and CD. So yes, uh, this tool will help you to set up a pipeline. That means everything you can codify uh, using pipeline. So executing automated end-to-end -end software development and delivery process, resulting in a reduced cost increase quality reliability and traceability and accelerated time to market pipeline management is a key enabler for application release automations uh, and cd now next uh, huge cases which you can use for the release plan planning and management so yes in the release work also if you do if you think uh, in a way 
you do a lot of work actually uh, in the release you have a uh, many environments uh, many customers you have many different different releases you have uh, different auditing has to be done different sort of validation has to be done so all this thing uh, this can can help you so the release feature captures execute visualize and control the life cycle of multi application or multi microservices enterprise release where output from the multiple teams are coordinated to produce a final release to be pushed to production so that's one of the huge cases which can be used another huge cases you want to automate everything uh, from the code to production uh, you want to automate everything so this can be used for for that also so like that so some of the features of cloud based cds so one is model based deployment okay so model based deployment that means uh, here uh, you are given uh, to create a model and drag and drop sort of it so where you can create a relationship between the each steps which you do as part of the deployment so that is a uh, you can create a, you can see the image also accordingly so replace uh, brittle script with reusable models that enable predictable repetitable and automated uh, deployments uh, self service automation that means yes uh, uh, here you have a a uh, hell lot of catalogs actually uh, at uh, at this cloud based platform and you can create your own catalogs also i'll teach you at the last day so using this catalog uh, everyone can create deploy their own version of or their own uh, specification of a uh, deployment so that is also possible uh, next one is governed release process that means uh, uh, all the release process which you have uh, whatever the steps you you do um, i have discussed in the previous session uh, quality assurance pre production production uh, integration staging uh, all this thing uh, whatever you have basically it provide a kind of uh, uh, place where you can govern everything and have a visualizations of it so provide developers with governance guard railing to ensure the pre approved workflows with a security by default now this will help you to also deploy your product in any environment at any scales okay so that's one of the features and most important thing everything you can quantify that means you can write a code for everything that i'll teach you advanced deployment strategies also you can do that so just before uh, this session before the break i have shown you multiple deployment strategies right and so that is the one thing and then gitops model has come now uh, so gitops model also has introduced multiple deployment uh, you know streams for that so uh, basically this will help you to implement the gitops in simple way if you put it up again uh, this will also help you to automated remediation and rollback that means if something goes wrong uh, it can help you to roll back also and uh, also fix that issues also so that is also done so it automatically detect changes in the production roll back application to the previous state now this concept is coming from the githubs githubs itself which uh, i'll discuss in some time now also you can also see the very uh, very enhanced reporting of like which deployment has gone to which environment which customer what version whether is past success performance and everything you can see through the analytics so uh, this all this information you can see that and last but not least everything you can set everything you can set uh, the access control means fine grained access control means uh, you have environment application stages steps at every level you can set the permissions and that is a, one of the wonderful part of it so you are giving access or uh, people are able to access only things which uh, you are expecting them to access it so yes uh, it's a fine grained access control so these are the some of the features which we have in the in the cloud based cdro any questions so far all of you everything as a code is it any specific language uh, so it, it's a just a yaml one the one which you remember so yeah. it's a part of the gitops concept has come so okay. i need to and the pipeline also like a kind of a json format you have to create so i'll i'll cover that one part yeah okay 
so many tools are there actually if you compare the uh, cloud with cdro then you should compare with uh, with the one tool which is called uh, you deploy from ibm that is the one closest one second one argo cd argo argo cd argo workflow argo rollout three products they have for the argo which is becoming very popular so that is the one you can compare and uh, cloud bees again you have it uh, there are few more products which you have i'm not able to recall the name uh, which is cloud native products actually what's the ibm product you mentioned I... you deploy you deploy Okay, so now how it has been developed? What are the versions which we have? Language has been used and supported database. So, what is the things? So now, if you see that uh, CloudBees has been developed using Java and Groovy. Okay, and while installing, you don't need to though you don't need to install the Java and Groovy. It is a part of the package itself. But for that uh, understanding purpose, let's say over the period of time, if you want to troubleshoot the applications. OK, so you must be familiar with the Java environment and Google environment, so it will be easy for you. So I don't know how many of you will act like a, a administrator for cloud B CDs RO, but if you are going to take care of this infrastructure of the runtime environment of CD RO also, this will definitely help you. Now in terms of release, uh, you can look at the release. Multiple release has happened. The most recent release is is happened in this month only. Uh, that is a 2013 uh, 2023 08. So that is the most recent release. So if you see that from the 10 uh, earlier, they were naming like a 10. 10.9 10 10.10 and all. So now they have stick to the year of release and month also. So if you look at it a little bit carefully, almost every month they have a release. So Fab, March, April, May, no, June and August. Right kind of it. So these are the release now which database is supported so i'll discuss about the architecture in a while but uh, these are the database supports which you have that means basically any rdbms is support is there now uh, in this uh, course uh, in this course we will use the trial version so because uh, if you migrate to the the external database the licensing uh, will be a challenge okay so uh, that will be challenge. So we'll use the license which they are giving it built in. So we'll use a Maria DB for this in this case. But yes, uh, uh, for the production, you should plan for MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL, MSQL Server, and all. So Maria DB is a lightweight database that is installed with CloudBees CD CRO itself, and it is a good option for small deployment and learning purpose. But for the production, you may opt for something else. Depends on your, uh, you know, organization policies. I think uh, the co combination of the PostgreSQL SQL is good with CDR RO. I mean, most of the people, if they are on to opt for the external database, uh, they opt for it until until you have a dedicated SQL server or a Oracle or MySQL. That is a different case, actually. Any questions so far, all of you? All of you? No. Okay. OK, so some of the tools which uh, during the uh, this training we will discuss about it right now. I'm not talking at uh, in detail, but a high level uh, one is EC admin. Uh, just keep in mind again. We'll use it later upon the time. EC admin uh, is a collection of administrator procedures to help you manage your cloud based CD RO server. These procedures were developed to respond to request from customer during CloudBees professional service engagement. So these are the some of the procedures which you have on the GitHub committed. Uh, DSL samples. So yeah, because I told you everything you need to codify. So many DSL samples. Uh, it has been shared uh, in this uh, Git repository, Electric Cloud Community. This is a DSL sample. So this repository contains sample projects created with the cloud based CD RO domain specific language. Uh, the DSL is based on the Groovy programming language and run directly on the cloud based CD RO server JVM. It has a full access to cloud based CD RO API and then can be used for authoring cloud based CD RO content such as procedures, workflows and pipeline and for automation. 
so these samples will use it uh, next day uh, this is the one more web based tool uh, which is called ed slides it got incorpor incorporated in the ed uh, cloud cd ro itself in form of plugins now so this is the one of the id for the uh, web based plugin for scripting actually dsl scripting uh, there's one more tool which is called espec tool an easy to use testing tool for writing specification and acceptance testing so this is also good and so on now uh, while working with the uh, cloud bees cd cro you have to work with a different deployment strategy i think we have already discussed uh, and i ask you to you know spend some time on it so cd cro will help you to support the different strategies which include rolling deployment blue green deployment canary deployment dark loss deployment hot deployment partial deployment and all so all this thing we do that now next topic is what is the architecture of uh, of uh, cdro so any question so far all of you any question so far so now let's go with the architecture so guys this is the basic architecture where we have a server agent and database now how do we set up a server i'll teach you i'll show you the demo also so uh, cloud b cd ro is a software delivery automation tool that help organizations automate and orchestrate the software release process it has a three tier architecture again that consists of the following component server agent and database all these components you can keep it in a separate server or one server one server for learning purpose for the production you should plan for the separate server so yes server which is the central component of the architecture and it is responsible for managing the release process it store the release configurations it store the release configurations uh, execute the release jobs and collect the release matrices second one is agent the agent are responsible for executing the release jobs uh, on the target environment they can be installed on physical or virtual machines or in cloud uh, third one is agent the this i talked about the which are the database supported actually so this database stored the release conf, uh, which stored the release configurations release matrices and other data now these are the detail if you want to go to into the detail so you have interface api security event driven architecture and plugins these are the more or less the components around the server uh, which you have okay so this is the architecture now if you look at this it's a local architecture that means uh, just a second uh, local architecture so here if you see that uh, look at it a little bit carefully uh, cloud base cdro server we have and which is talking to the database and after that after that uh, we are able to access through the web browser on top if you look at this uh, this is the local configuration means one host one machine only you have deployed so this is the one so here this is the server all the configuration stored in database this can be any rdbms now this server which is a back end applications and here you have a front end and this is being accessible from the user this is you and me now here also web server is a front end and here we have user okay so now that is one thing second thing okay. is uh, yeah tell me so oh, there is up to the web server i thought there's one agents but again you create a workspace of multiple agents but what that, that i'm not getting it we will discuss this one actually yeah. so here uh, so uh, there is a you can you can put it in this way um you can put it in this way 
agent okay have a browser also okay and here in this way uh, let's say you want to automate everything so this is the ops team are looking at it but let's say if you want to you are a developer and if you want to use it or maybe QA people or maybe for pre productions so that way also you can use this uh, uh, this uh, setup actually okay so that one agent will help you uh, to manage the workspace and workspace can connect to the multiple agent for the deployment server got it okay but any specific reason on the left hand side you have a arrow from agent to web server but on the right hand side you have the arrows on both sides between the agent and the web server ah, so this is the sre team and uh, they are using the some of the infrastructure which is for environment and this environments they can i mean every every developers can use their own environment also and uh, use this part to manage the whole projects actually so here web server means your applications which you are accessing uh, this is the web server and here so web server here you can connect to the agent also and here and uh, web server is connect to the uh, app server this is app server basically you can say and here web server is connecting to app server here again uh, in a web server you can connect to the different different agent and workspace also if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching